Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson, and I'm going to be teaching you how to use ChatGPT to write amazing contracts for your business. Make sure you subscribe and share this video. Okay, I'm going to jump right into the interface that has changed the landscape, ChatGPT. And I'm going to start off with a query with a prompt from the previous examples make sure you subscribe so you can so you can stay up to date with the previous video we're talking about building a business and the, the example is a food truck all right so i'm going to paste the text that i've used before and this prompt it just it, it just gives the robot some context on what we're doing okay and so what it's saying is hello chat gpt I'm working with a food truck business in Miami named Darnell's Good Eats that specializes in fresh made sandwiches. And it's famous for its garlic cheese fries. So this is the premise. I want the robot just to understand what I'm working on before I start talking about contracts. So it's saying, hey, he wants food truck business help. All right. Now we're talking about legit contracts for your business and you don't have an attorney around here right now so what kind of contracts could you need for a food truck business in miami well let's start off with a can you write an example land lot lease for the food truck business Right. So in this example, you need to lease a lot so you can operate. Can you write a lease? Certainly. Here's an example. Land lot lease for a food truck business. Here's the lease agreement. All right. Now you could take this and you could paste this and update it. Right. It lays out everything that's important and expected to be in a lease agreement. All right. Now you can say. The lease agreement is for $400 per month and $4,000 down payment deposit. Maybe that's a high deposit. Let's say $2,000. $2,000 deposit. Okay. And let's see what it says. Here's the revised lease agreement. So it'll it'll revise it for you. All right. So I want you to I want you to check out the power of this tool. You don't have to go digging through the internet trying to piecemeal something. This amazing robot is writing this for you. All right. And we're talking about legit contract agreements. And Let's talk about some other contracts you may need to write, right? So I wrote down a couple others. What about an employee contract? Okay, let's take a look at that real quick. When you have the food truck, of course, you're going to eventually need employees. So let's ask the robot, can you write an employee contract for the food truck? Right, so these are people that work on the truck. It's an agreement they're making with your business to come to work every day. What are the terms there? Certainly, here is an example employee contract for a food truck business. It spells out what you're entering into an employee contract, it lays out the whole, all of the expected terms and conditions for a legitimate contract so that you can hire employees and let's see here when it finishes and of course you can update it now it has non-compete governing law okay so i can tell it the governing law is the state of florida in the county of dade the Let's see here. The name of the employee is John 
Johnson, the food truck is Darnell Good Darnell's Good Eats. Can you update it? Let's see if it updates it. Now imagine normally you would be sending emails back and forth to your attorney, right? But in this case, you can talk directly to the robot and save time. This is how you're going to increase the income for your business. Remember, time is money. Speed is what you need to really get where you want to go with a business. So it updated the contract. All right. So let's take a look at some other contracts that you may need. Okay. We talked, we started off talking about a lot lease agreement. Now we looked at the employee agreement. Now let's take a look at a supplier agreement. So this would be, this would be a situation where can you write a supplier agreement contract for our supplier of garlic fries paying let's say $50 per bag of prepared garlic fries. And obviously you can type in more terms based on your actual agreement. I'm just showing you that you can put some, you can add some uh, exact specifications in your contract. Certainly here is an example supplier agreement contract for a food truck business. So you can see the title, supply of goods, the supplier shall supply to the company the following goods. So I can say, oh, it timed out, it timed out. It was doing pretty good prior to that. So let's uh, paste it again. I'll just copy it. I've had the most success just um, refreshing the page. Can you write a supplier agreement contract for our supplier of garlic fries paying $50 per bag of prepared garlic fries? Let's see if it includes that. And you may have to rewrite things to make it make sense. Supplier agreement for garlic fries. So it has that. And this is just an example of how quickly you can come up with quality, legitimate contracts for your business. And then what you would do is you would just copy this and paste it into a new document and then make your changes where you need to make your changes and boom, you're done. All right. So make sure you Share this video and subscribe to howwhy.ai. This is the site. It's all about how to grow your business with AI. You'll get all of the guides, as you can see, contracts and agreements. I'm adding it right now. And you'll click the links for all of the other areas. I will be releasing the free reports. So subscribe. You'll get 12 businesses to start with AI today. You'll also get 31 AI apps to use in your business. Now, thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you share this with your friends. Check out the previous videos. And until the next time, I'm Darnell Jackson. Peace.